Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. You're joining me here in the beautiful French Alps. I'm thrilled I could get here again to film another video. The fragrance I'm talking about in this video is from the house Ex Idolo and it's called Rider. Stay tuned to FM. I'm very pleased to let you know that this video is in collaboration with Scent City. They are a UK based online luxury niche fragrance store. Although they are based in the UK, they do ship worldwide. We connected on Instagram and we had a chat about the kind of fragrances that they sold and the kind of fragrances I was interested in. And we decided to collaborate on this video. Scent City was launched in 2014. It was founded by two entrepreneurs in London who adore fragrance. And they offer try before you buy samples on all the fragrances they offer, which is great because niche fragrances can sometimes cost a lot of money. So if there's the opportunity to sample them first, then that can really uh, help us make the right decision when we're parting with quite a lot of money. So they have a different way of classifying their fragrances. They have uh, something called the Urbanite. And if you go on their website, and I'll leave a link to their website down below, if you click on that it brings down a drop down list and within that list is different categories of fragrances so you have mr classic mr sophisticated ms romance dr love so there's a list of them and all these fragrances are grouped into different classifications and the idea of that is well i think it's a bit of fun i think it's a, a fun and interesting way to choose a fragrance but it also allows you to choose a fragrance based on the kind of um uh, image you want to portray when you're wearing a fragrance, the mood that you're in, the type of occasion that you may be wearing a fragrance. So do go and have a look at their website and discover the kind of ways that they can choose a fragrance that might be right for you. So I chatted with Scent City about the kind of fragrances that I like, the kind of notes I like in fragrances, and we settled on two fragrances that I had never smelled before, but they were sure would be right up my street. The first of those fragrances, Ex Idolo Rider, I'm gonna talk about in this video. The second fragrance is a, a, a different one that I'll talk about in a different video, and uh, I won't reveal that one today. It is amazing though, I've gotta tell you, both these fragrances are amazing, but I will reveal what the other fragrance is when the video comes around for that one. So let's talk about the fragrance. And here it is, let's start with a brief bit of background on the house, Exidolo, in case you're not familiar with them. I know I wasn't until I tried this fragrance. So it was founded by Matthew and Tanya Zuck. It's a UK based house. Matthew is the nose behind this fragrance. It was launched in 2015. Let's have a look at the nose. We have tobacco, amber, resins, dark woodsy notes, olibanum and Tahitian vanilla. Ex Idolo say Ryder is inspired by private members clubs in London. Now, I've never been to any private members clubs in London, but I've got a bit of imagery in my mind as to what they may look like and what they may have smelled like. So you've got the tobacco note in here because I guess those uh, private members clubs traditionally were pretty smoky. Uh, I think probably a lot of people smoked and smoked cigars in there pipes because you get this um, uh, sweet pipe tobacco which is absolutely beautiful it's my favorite type of tobacco note in fragrances and if you follow my channel you know tobacco is one of my favorite notes if not my favorite note in perfumery so as well as the tobacco you've got this beautiful dark woodsiness to the fragrance and in my mind when i think of one of these private members clubs i see this haze of of smoke and I see uh, lots of antique wooden furniture, perhaps mahogany. And I don't know if you've ever smelled uh, like a polished antique furniture, but it has this almost resinous balsamic nature to it. And that's what you get from this. So I think the, the dark woodsy notes are conjuring up the uh, imagery of uh, all this old wooden furniture, or well, that's certainly what I get from it anyway. So you've got the tobacco, you've got this uh, balsamic, dark, resinous, uh, woodsy notes, and mixed in with all this, there is the amber and the resins. Now, amber is not a note, it is just made up of a series of uh, different chords to create this amber accord, <laughs> which is crazy really, because I find amber to be uh, one of the most intoxicating notes in fragrances. I find it rich and deep and resinous and rounded and full-bodied. I think it's a, it's a beautiful note. So the fact that it's made up from, um, 
from other molecules to create this amber accord uh, is, is, I think is pretty fantastic. So all in all, it gives you this kind of intoxicating and enigmatic quality to the fragrance. You've also got some uh, incense in here, the olibanum, uh, and that incense further adds to, to that kind of mysterious quality that this one has. You spray this one on, and I have been wearing this today, so I'm going to remind myself of it. And straight away, you're drawn into this lovely, rich, deep amber. And as it dries down, the depth of this amber just seems to get deeper and deeper and it, and it doesn't dissipate for hours and hours. The performance on this, which I'll go into uh, in a little while, is fantastic. So you've got that lovely pipe tobacco, you've got the resins, you've got the incense, uh, and you've got, the, uh, you've got the tobacco in there. All these things are gorgeous, dark notes in fragrance. Actually, this fragrance is just pure, indulgent luxury through and through. It's classy, it's refined, it's sophisticated. It makes you feel great when you're wearing this. It emboldens you because it is quite a, a bold fragrance, but not in a challenging or divisive way. I've been wearing this over the last few weeks now, and every time I put it on, it makes me feel great. To give you a bit of an idea of the kind of scent profile that this one has, it's in, it sits in a similar ballpark to Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud and Amber Absolute. Now, I haven't smelt the original Amber Absolute. I'm basing that on uh, a couple of different clones of Amber Absolute that I'm familiar with uh, that have been said to, to smell pretty similar. So I'm kind of just um, gauging uh, how Amber Absolute smells off those two fragrances. And I think this sits somewhere in the middle. It has that deep, rich, uh, ambery nature that Amber Absolute has, although I think it is deeper and even more rounded than in Amber Absolute. But it also has that tobacco accord which you get in Tobacco Oud. And Tobacco Oud has an ambery, uh, slightly boozy note to it. So that's the kind of scent profile that we're looking at with this one. It's not the same as those two fragrances, but sits in a similar ballpark. Okay, so I think it's pretty clear that this fragrance is absolutely fantastic. It's perfect for this kind of snowy winter environment, although even though it's all snowy around here, it's very hot. The sun's beating down on me. I'm having to wear my sunglasses. I wanted to take them off for this video, but I just could not see the camera at all. So it's almost as hot as, as being uh, in, say, Portugal in the summer. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful here for, for skiing at the moment. Clear blue skies. So this fragrance is working really well. I think uh, it would work best in fall, winter, maybe some cooler spring days. Maybe a bit heavy for the summer, although, you know, in some places, if you do get cooler summer evenings, you could potentially still wear it for those. In terms of performance, I get a good performance of this. I get two to three hours of a fairly decent projection. I'd say it's around an arm's length, if not a little bit more than that. And the longevity is excellent. It's around eight to 10 hours. I, uh, I had some that I sprayed on skin last night and it's still there, I can still smell it. So that uh, resinous, dark woodsy nature and the amber, it does just hang around on your skin. So it will last quite a long time as a skin scent. If you want to pick this one up, you can go to Scent City. I'll leave a link again to their website down below. And there's a special code for this fragrance and this fragrance only. So if you want to purchase Rider, you can use the code FRAGMENTAL15 and that will give you 15% off this bottle or off a sample of this. Now let's talk about the, the different bottle sizes and the different prices. So a 30ml bottle, which is the size of this one, will cost you £90. A um, 50ml bottle will cost you £120. And if you wanted to pick up a 3ml sample just to try this or any of their fragrances, it will cost you £6. So if you're thinking of making a purchase, be sure to use my code FRAGMENTAL15 and you'll get a nice bit of money off this one. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I think it's so beautiful. Ex Idolo state that they source as many natural ingredients and high quality ingredients as they can. And you can certainly smell the high quality in this. There is nothing cheap about this. This is expensive and luxury smelling. Okay, that's it from me. I'm signing off from here in the Alps. If you've tried Exodolo's Rider, let me know what you think of it. I think it's amazing. So if you've tried it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Also, let me know, do you like this location I'm in? I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, let me know if you like me using the different locations rather than just my studio at home. I think it provides a nice bit of uh, visual variety and it also keeps me a little bit more interested in making these videos. I like the challenge of uh, coming to film outside, but also 
um, I would hope that the uh, variety keeps things entertaining for you. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.